Hello everyone, welcome to the Power Query Basic. Today we will talk about how to keep the data that we want in our dataset in Power Query Editor. Normally, we can remove the rows that we don't want, or we may keep the rows that we need. Either way, let's start with removing the rows that we don't want. We may remove the top X rows. When we select Remove Top Rows, we can specify the number of rows that we don't need. We want to get rid of, for example, two here. OK. Then the top two rows are gone. If you want to change your mind, go back to the steps here, double click the gear icon, and then simply change the number here, five, for example. Alternatively, and more direct way is to modify the number in the formula bar here. So let's say 10, as simple as that. Let me remove the step here. Try another option, remove bottom rows. You can imagine, basically it is doing the same thing, but starting from the bottom of the table. Say I want to remove the top three rows because I can see that, oh, they are either empty or having errors. Okay. And needless to say, you may modify the number of rows to get rid of from the bottom of the table by changing the number here. Easy. Another option is remove alternate rows. This is a need to be interesting, I would say. Why is that? Because it lets you to keep the rows that in a specific pattern. Say, for example, in this dialog box, remove alternate rows, we can specify the first row to start the pattern, say, starting from second row. I want to remove two rows of record and then keep one row of record. That means starting on the second row, I will remove two rows, which is number two, number three, and then keep one row, which is number four. And then I will repeat this pattern. As a result, I will have one, four, seven, ten, and so on and so forth to be kept in my dataset. Let's have a look. Bingo. Interesting. I will show you a use case later. Another option under remove rows is remove duplicate. This is very, very important. Say, for example, select the column state, go to remove rows, remove duplicate. You will see that I will have a unique next of the state. We can also remove records with errors, but this is a need to be tricky. Let me show you. Now I have selected the column index. When I select remove errors, it will only look into the column index and remove the records with errors. Even though I still have error under date because I didn't select the column date, the error will remain here. <laughs> so let's do it again. If I select multiple columns and then I go to remove rows, remove errors, then as you can see in the formula bar, Power Query will look into the column index and date and then remove the records with error. This is not ideal because what if you have multiple columns and you don't know which columns will have errors? So a better alternative to remove any records with error, the better alternative is to start with this little icon, click here, remove errors. Then it will look through the entire table and remove the records with errors. Okay. And finally, let's take a look at remove blank rows. Wow, it removed all the empty rows. Okay. It applied to the entire table, but if we are going to do so by 
selecting a column and remove empty here the effect is a little bit different because it is a column specific action okay so now let's take a look at keeping the rows keeping top rows keeping bottoms is very straightforward it's very similar to removing top rows but as the name said we are going to keep the number of top rows that we specify for example top 10 let's do it again with bottom keep the top bottom three this is the result and we may also keep a range of rows by stating the first row to stay for example i want to start from the fifth row and then keep 10 rows there we go very simple very straightforward and there is something very interesting here we can keep duplicates for example here i select the column state when i go to keep rows keep duplicate all the records with duplicate value in the column state will be stayed here you may wonder oh why we don't have uh, options of keep unique meaning that we will keep only those records up here one on the column state you are right i also wonder why we don't have that options but actually we can have a workaround to get the result very easily by writing on the function of keeping duplicate okay now let's go back to this formula it looks complicated but what we need to modify is just a simple operator here we change the operator from larger to equal enter there we go now we have a list of unique state haha <laughs> easy right so we have tried also let's try also keep errors similar to remove errors it may apply to a specific column for example i select the column index and then keep errors and it will only keep the error from the index column and we can confirm it on the formula in the formula bar index is being hard cooked in the formula in case we want to keep the error rows in the entire table regardless of where they happened we again go to this little icon see that keep errors other than removing or keeping a certain rows we may also do the basic filtering from the columns for example i want to only see the record from california and texas maybe we can simply apply the filter for columns with date we can apply the date filter we can set before after or between in the previous wow this is very interesting we can select a filter to filter only those records in the previous 14 days or previous two weeks even month quarter years okay depends on your requirement so let's put it 14 days okay there we go very simple very powerful for the column with numeric value we can also select a range for example i want the record with higher than 10 only so i can select is greater than 10 of course there are many options greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to depends on what you need for example i just show you what will it be if we want to keep the record that is greater than 50 okay then in summary we can select the rows of data that we need in our data set 
by keeping the rows that we want or by removing the rows that we don't need. Or simply go straight to a specific column and apply the filtering on the columns. It's always a good practice to just keep the data that we need. This is the use case for removing alternate rows. Say, for example, we have a list of values. We know that it is a pattern with the name and then address. But what we want is only the name of the person. We don't care about where they live. That means I want to get the data from row 1, row 5, row 9. And we can see that these follow a consistent pattern. We want to keep one row, remove three rows. Keep one row, remove three rows. In this scenario, we can simply go to remove alternate rows. Okay, starting from the second row where we want to start the pattern. Remove three rows of record and then keep one of record. Bingo, as simple as that. Mm -hmm.